This is a quick refresher on how to download data. This is for lab 3 of 312, but it could be used anywhere. I need community layers. I also need school grounds, which is in community layers. Click on school grounds. I'm going to save my file. It navigates to my raw data of X, but of course I'm going to go back to my directory, go to labs, lab 3, and put it in my raw data and save. It's quickly done. Next step is to download the base map data. I've already used that. I can remember where it is, except I clicked on the wrong button. Land use and planning, Pierce County base map. Click on the save button, click save the file, navigate, make sure I'm in my raw data lab 3, click save. It looks like it's going to take a few seconds. I'll pause that data has saved. The next set of data you'll download is from the Lab 3 Write-Up Dropbox in Canvas. Obviously we just click on it. This should be extensive review right now. Save, save the file. To go to my folder, directory, labs, Lab 3, raw data, where the other two are, that is the file and I click save. It looks like two minutes so I'll pause while that downloads. The data is just about winding down. One second. Notice this part will go away now that it's done. I'll minimize that. The other place you'll download data is from the USGS National Map Viewer. Extensive Directions are provided in Lab 8 of GIS 311 and also in this lab for downloading this data. So there, since it's a review, there's no sense in me creating a video for it. So that's how you get your data for the Lab 3. I will show you that when it is time to download, you'll go to this button which says download data. You'll get a bunch of other screens, but then you'll also get an email. The email will look like this. It'll be from TNM Help USGS. You'll click to download. If you have more than one row here, you must go back and redo your data. You need it to say one of one. If it says one of two, two of two, or even worse, one of three, two of three, three of three, you need to redo it. We must have it in one layer. And it must say National Land Cover Database 2006 Impervious Surface Percentage. Click to download, as I'm about to do. You'll get another window such as this. I'm going to save the file, and of course it's going in my raw data lab three. I save. It looks like one minute. I will pause. From here, the process is simply extracting. I have WinZip, so I'm just going to use the Extract to Here button. If you have used other methods, feel free to do that. and then all of them are going to extract. This is the data that you'll need. School grounds, base map, the census information that I provided, and the information from the USGS. All of my data has extracted. One item you will notice, or you should notice, is the data provided by the census there is no PRJ file and that's automatically warned me that there is no spatial information attached and I can show that by minimizing we can minimize this now and minimize my other item and by going to raw data here is some of the data and this is the information from the census if I drag this in, and you don't need to do this, but it says unknown spatial reference, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. There it is, but I need to remove it because there's more that I need to do to it. Since it does not have a spatial reference, 
I must provide a spatial reference. And hopefully you recall from GIS 311 that if it doesn't have a spatial re reference, you have to first define projection. In this case, I'm going to go to the file, which is in my raw data L3, grab the file. This is the census file. Add. And I do not want the ultimate shape file. I need to tell it what the census had it in. So again, I go to select geographic North America NAD 1983. That's what we use for all census data. That's the default. And we must use it. I'm going to click add and apply then OK and it gets changed. It's going to update that data in that raw data folder which is perfect. I'll say OK. It happens quickly and I close and it adds it to the map but I'm going to remove it from the map. I'm also going to clear the projection of my map just to make sure. Apply OK. And that's how you get your data ready for ArcGIS. There is no new file because for the file we just defined the projection for because we're just altering it. If we were to look at it in ArcGIS then we should see a PRJ file and then there it is right there. If I sort again and scroll to that file now we'll see a PRJ, a project file. That's what we just did but there's no way to do it without going through the process that I did, which is define projection.